policy. It's been 233 days since we last joined you at this hour. And like many of you, the last seven months have brought a string of unforeseeable challenges and adjustments. Our last show streamed Wednesday, March 11th, hours before our studios were forced to shutter after a number of our own colleagues tested positive for the coronavirus. It also happens to be the same day the World Health Organization officially declared the COVID-19 outbreak a global pandemic. By the time April began, more than a million people had contracted the virus worldwide, and by the end of the month, there were one million cases in the U.S. alone. A month later, 100,000 Americans had died, and by the end of September, the death toll had doubled. The pandemic has changed nearly every aspect of life around the world. Millions without paychecks, flights without passengers, weddings without guests, proms without parties, graduations without ceremonies, sporting events without crowds, classrooms without students, a future without certainty. And this pandemic isn't happening in a vacuum. We've also witnessed a painful racial reckoning. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, Elijah McClain, Rashard Brooks. Just a short list of the many black Americans killed this year, some at the hands of police officers. Their deaths reignited the Black Lives Matter movement into the largest movement the nation has ever seen. Civil unrest, mass protests, curfews, and in some cases, the involvement of the National Guard were seen across the country as demonstrators demanded equal rights and justice for all. Now, I want to tell you, we've been experiencing all of this along with you. It's been months since you've hugged some of your family members. There are work colleagues that you may never see again. Things have changed for you and for us. I'm talking to you today from a makeshift studio inside my home, and the show is being produced by a staff spread out across the country. And while you haven't seen us at this early hour, we have been there with you, praying for the health of your families, searching for explanations of police violence, and watching the U.S. election system devolve with trepidation. So... Let us turn now to Weijia Jiang, who is at the White House. You know, Weijia, we wanted to kind of, kind of bring everything together over the past few months, how we were all feeling. You know, when I saw my mom in uh, Christmas time in December, I had no idea that I would not be able to see her again for this many months. And everything 